Stage Door Canteen Film from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. Stage Door Canteen is a 1943 American World War II film with some musical numbers and other entertainment and aspersed with dramatic scenes by a largely unknown cast. The film was produced by Saul Lesser Productions and directed by Frank Borzage. The film features many celebrity cameo appearances, but primarily relates a simple drama set in the famed New York City restaurant and nightclub for American and Allied servicemen. Six bands are featured. The score and the original song, We Mustn't Say Goodbye, were nominated for Academy Awards. Stage Door Canteen is in the public domain in North America, and for this reason is widely available in many DVD and VHS releases of varying quality. Plot The film, made in wartime, celebrates the work of the Stage Door Canteen, created in New York City as a recreational center for both American and Allied servicemen on leave to socialize with, be entertained, or served by Broadway celebrities. The storyline follows several women who volunteer for the canteen and must adhere to strict rules of conduct, the most important of which is that their job is to provide friendly companionship to and be dance partners for the often nervous men who are soon to be sent into combat. No romantic fraternization is allowed. Eileen, Cheryl Walker, is a volunteer who confesses to only becoming involved in the canteen in order to be discovered by one of the Hollywood stars in attendance. She ultimately finds herself falling in love with one of the soldiers, William Terry. Production Stage Door Canteen was made under the auspices of the American Theatre Wing. The actual Stage Door Canteen in New York City was a basement club located in the 44th Street Theatre, and it could not be used for the filming as it was too busy receiving servicemen. The settings were recreated at the Fox Movie Tone Studio in New York and at RKO Pathé Studios in Los Angeles. Stage Door Canteen was in production from November 30, 1942 to late January 1943. Star appearances range from momentary cameos, such as Johnny Weissmuller working in the canteen's kitchen, to more substantial roles. In a June 1943 feature story titled Show Business at War, Life magazine counted a total of 82 performers in Stage Door Canteen and provided total screen time for some of them. Ray Bolger, Dancing, 391 seconds. Edgar Bergen with Charlie McCarthy, 248 seconds. And Mortimer Snurd, 102 seconds. Gypsy Rose Lee performing a strip on stage, 331 seconds. Gracie Fields singing the Machine Gun Song and The Lord's Prayer, 197 seconds. Catherine Cornell serving food with Aileen McMahon and Dorothy Fields and reciting from Romeo and Juliet, 113 seconds. Ed Wynn, various scenes, 101 seconds. Catherine Hepburn appears at the close with Selena Royal in a scene with Cheryl Walker, which was written by Robert Sherwood, 99 seconds. Ethel Merman singing Marching Through Berlin, 95 seconds. Alfred Lunt and Lynn Fontan working in the kitchen, 81 seconds. Tallulah Bankhead working as a senior hostess, 50 seconds. Ina Clare mediating a dispute between sailors who want to dance with her, 43 seconds. Helen Hayes working as a senior hostess, 43 seconds. Stage Door Canteen represents the only film appearance of Catherine Cornell. It features a performance of Why Don't You Do Right by Benny Goodman and his orchestra, which became the first major hit for singer Peggy Lee. African-American producer Leonard Harper was hired to do the African-American casting in New York City. Cast Story cast, Cheryl Walker as Eileen, William Terry as Dakota, Marjorie Riordan as Jean, Lon McAllister as California, Margaret Early as Ella Sue, Michael Harrison as Tex, Dorothea Kent as Mamie, Fred Brady as Jersey, Patrick O'Moore as the Australian, and Marion Shockley as Lillian. Featured bands, Count Basie with Ethel Waters, Xavier Cougat with Lena Romay, Benny Goodman with Peggy Lee, Kay Kaiser, Guy Lombardo, and Freddie Martin. Featured cast, these featured cast members either perform or have extended dialogue in the story. Kenny Baker, Edgar Bergen, Ray Bolger, Catherine Cornell, Gracie Fields, Helen Hayes, Catherine Hepburn, Sam Jaffe, George Jessel, Gypsy Rose Lee, Yehudi Menuhin, Ethel Merman, Selena Royal, Lanny Ross, Ethel Waters, and Ed Wynn. Cameo Appearances These featured players make brief appearances in the film. Judith Anderson, Tallulah Bankhead, Ralph Bellamy, Ina Clare, Lynn Fontan, Hugh Herbert, Jean Hersholt, Alfred Lunt, Harpo Marx, Elsa Maxwell, Paul Muni, Merle Oberon, George Raft, Martha Scott, Johnny Weissmuller, and Vera Gordon. Other stage, screen, and radio artists making cameo appearances include the following. Henry Armetta, Helen Broderick, Lloyd Corrigan, Jane Darwell, William Demarest, Virginia Field, Arlene Francis, Vinton Freely, Anne Gillis, Lucille Gleason, Virginia Gray, Alan Jenkins, Roscoe Carnes, Tom Kennedy, Otto Kruger, June Lang, Betty Lawford, Bert Lytell, Aileen McMahon, Horace McMahon, Helen Menken, Peggy Moran, Alan Mowbray, Elliot Nugent, Franklin Pangborn, Helen Parrish, Rock Pemberton, Cornelia Otis Skinner, Ned Sparks, 
Bill Stern, Arlene Whelan, and Dame May Woody. Music, Bugle Call Rag, Ave Maria, Fly to the Bumblebee, A Rookie and His Rhythm, She's a Bombshell from Brooklyn, We Mustn't Say Goodbye, Sleep Baby Sleep in Your Jeep, Don't Worry Island, You're Pretty Terrific Yourself, Quicksand, The Girl I Love to Leave Behind, The Machine Gun Song, The Lord's Prayer, Good Night Sweetheart, Marching Through Berlin, Rumba Rumba, Why Don't You Do Right, and Marine's Hymn. Release. Distributed by United Artists, Stage Door Canteen was released June 24, 1943, with a runtime of 132 minutes. Some modern prints have been trimmed to 93 minutes. Accolades. Stage Door Canteen was named one of the ten best motion pictures of 1943 in a film daily poll of 439 newspaper and radio reviewers. The film received two Academy Award nominations, for the original score by Fred Rich and for the original song, We Mustn't Say Goodbye, by James V. Monaco, music, and Al Dubin, lyrics. Reception. Bosley Crother, film critic for the New York Times, prefaced his remarks on the film by stating his aversion to the contemporary trend toward all-star spectacles, which he called cheap showmanship. Quote, but for once, we've got to make a frank concession. As done in Stage Door Canteen, this parading of show-world notables has some real dramatic point. It shapes a glamorous, atmospheric setting within which a slight story is played, a setting as real as in the canteen for a story that is old as the hills. And besides, some of the acts are pretty good. End quote. Crowther praised producer Saul Lesser for creating an illusion of authenticity by casting newcomers to the screen, quote, anybody's boys and girls, just so many nice kids at the canteen, end quote. He credited the film for catching the generous spirit of show people wishing to do their part to help win the war. As a general rule, he concluded, this writer is depressed by a bandwagon of stars, but this is one time when the spectacle really brings a lump of pride to the throat. All proceeds after Lesser's 8.5% were donated to the American Theatre Wing and its allied charities. The film was such a success at the box office that Lesser was able to turn over $1.5 million, the equivalent of more than $20.5 million today. Patriotism, entertainment, and romance mixed badly, wrote modern critic Pauline Kael, who looked back on the film for The New Yorker. Many famous performers make fools of themselves. Catherine Cornell, Catherine Hepburn, and Paul Muni fare a shade worse than most of the other 50-odd famous performers. Ray Bolger and Ed Wynn come off rather better. Kale termed the film depressing, and particularly criticized Delma Dave's horribly elaborate narrative. Dave Kerr of the New York Times called the film, quote, an interesting document on World War II, end quote. See also, 44th Street Theater, Hollywood Canteen, Thank Your Lucky Stars, Cowboy Canteen, and Show Business at War. This audio was recorded on the 4th of July, 2019.